<sighs> Alrighty. So yet again, we have people who do not understand the simple basicness of Zmod. Basics of Zmod. So without further ado, I'm going to be making yet another fucking tutorial on how to make cars for Zmod because still nobody can find the videos. Also, um, we're going to be doing uh, Antonio's uh, Ram for, uh, for Chicago PD in this video. So I'm going to basically show you how to do it. Alright, second thing I want to get through in this video... Uh, the white computer that I had on the desk, I'm actually selling it. It's already sold, uh, so I should be getting the money today for it, um, and then we'll be able to go from there. Alrighty, so, I'm gonna have to be, um, I'm gonna have to be doing, uh, a lot of stuff in this video. Uh, for starters, I'm gonna be, you're gonna see me swap back and forth to this specific video because of the um, back of the Dodge Ram is what actually, believe it or not, has me stumped. I'm not sure what these lights are. I believe they're ions. Um, but honestly, I, I can't exactly um, pinpoint it. So, so yeah, let's see here. Oh, copy that. Alert attack team right now. I'm actually going to be blacking out uh, the stream at certain points uh, so it doesn't get copyrighted. Um, but whatever, I guess. So it's going to go black here for a second until I get back to the part where the they're in a pursuit so I can get the whole entire video here. Um, you coming? No. He made us. So basically in this video we're gonna be we're gonna be looking at Antonio's RAM mainly because that is what I'm making in this video. I need to get this back. There we go, got it. Okay, so I'm gonna unhide it now. Alright, so for starters, you need to figure out what lights what you want on the car. So for an example, I'm 100% confident that these are ions on the back of this Dodge Ram. I'm 100% confident because I've never seen any other light bar in the world that looks like these. So, we've got our Dodge Ram, uh, and this is going to be an unmarked version, so we can just forget about the template. It's not really needed, so I'm actually going to do... Just for this, I'll include the template when I release it, um, but we're going to let's see if we can actually do this. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe I can't do it. Um, sometimes you can actually change the color, but it looks like it's actually being a pain. So, All right, so if you want to change the color of your car, you're going to need to go into either Photoshop or... Uh, paint.net and you're going to need to um you know make the paint for the car so we're gonna do that real quick so why can i not find my hold on oh that's why Duh. <laughs> i haven't been on my computer in over a week so sorry if i'm a little rusty of where things are just um haven't I've been on a heart monitor for the past 48 hours, so I haven't been able to get out of bed um, because it's I had to do things I normally would do, and I'm normally not on my computer. So, according to the doctor, I'm healthy and fat at the same time. I don't even think that begins to fucking, you know, make sense. But whatever. Not fat for starters. I wanted to fucking cloak the fucking doctor. Oh, and then it turns out he's not a doctor. Didn't go to medical school, so. So, when you're making, um, you know, a picture, you want it to match the color. So, I actually believe that we're close to the color. I'm going to go a little darker. That should do it. All right, so, if you want to just paint the car, which is what I'm going to be doing for um, something I'm working on, which I can't say what, but I will say. 
uh, that you guys will actually like what I've got in the works, if my rumor is true. I don't even know how to spell right now. Boom. There we go. So. So I think I saved it as a PNG. Yep, right there. So I didn't spell it correctly, but that doesn't matter. So then you're going to hit, uh, well, for starters, what you want to do probably is save this somewhere. Uh... And then hit replace, of course, and then replace it with the texture and the Dodge Ram. Then should change colors. So now we've got Antonio's color for his Ram. And I just moved a dummy. I'm hoping the guy that doesn't do anything. So. I've been pulling up pictures for Antonio's Dodge Ram. Um, I already know what the front looks like. It's not really that hard to pinpoint what's in the front. All their vehicles on Chicago PD are pretty much the same. Um, so, yeah. So, there's a few pictures here, but not many that are actually good. Um, so, we're actually going to go back to... Alright, there we go. So we're going to do the grill lights first. So looks like the grill lights are exactly like Voight's. They're going to be ions. So we have fog lights, right? I know we don't. Well, this is going to be somewhat like Antonio's. All right. So starters, I don't have, I think, ions for this. So here we go. Hold on. I keep clicking wrong things. Hmm. <laughs> Ions. All right. So, I don't know where I put the ions. I'm not going to waste time. I'm just going to go here, and I'm going to go download a new set of ions, because, uh, yeah, I don't know what I did with my other ones. And I don't want to be wasting time in this video trying to figure out what the hell I did with them. So, uh, let's see here. I believe I used these, and I just got rid of the base for them. So we're going to use these. Pow wow, chicka chicka pow wow. When you guys make cars, it is very important that you keep everything organized. Don't be like me and throw shit on the desktop and then throw it in another folder. That's, that's really bad. Just, you know, name your folders what you want them to be. So, so basically, the best part about these Chicago PD cars is they're very easy to make, and they're probably, honestly, um, they're probably the easiest cars ever because they all use ions. It's not that hard to figure out their texture. All right, so import your textures first. Go to File merge or whatever you want to do and then merge your ion for some reason mine keeps showing up as um as other things i don't know why and of course sometimes you're gonna deal with this where it's not showing the ion so just click on them sometimes you get light bars that actually do that and as you can see here, we've got a perfect ion. So if you want the Spitfire, it'll actually make it longer. We don't want that. Our ions are basically just made up of those. So, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bunch of dummies because you want dummies for the ions. And we're going to throw the safe ones in there. You're going to go to Create, Copy, because after this you won't be able to make... Um, you won't be able to, you know, do what you need to do, so. So, uh, one, two, three, and it ends at surface. And, of course, this is something that's very highly annoying with creating and copying, but whew, it's not too bad. Just can't wait to get that money for the computer. So, we got the eye on there. And don't worry about the grayness with the ions right now. It's only because of the copies. I'm actually going to get rid of the other copies as soon as I'm done. I think I shouldn't need that many ions for this. Do one more. Call it even. 
and then we'll delete the rest. Damn it, my fucking leg. Alright. We're gonna turn those off, and then we're just gonna go down and click and shift and right click and delete. And then as you see, your ion will come back. So I'm gonna turn off my air conditioner. <sighs> fucking mosquitoes are coming in. Anyway. <clears throat> So now you're going to see that your ion is inside the car. So don't do anything with, don't touch the car, don't move the car, because if you do, you're going to move apart. And you don't want that. Like, you don't want that. So select quarter, modify, move. Then, of course, just go to move and move it a little out of the way of the RAM. Now, if your car does this with the red shit, back out, go back into polygon right away and click. And then there you go. So now the ion in the front, I'm try I when I make these Chicago PD cars, there's a reason behind me making them for starters, and I try to get them exactly how they're supposed to be. So for an example, his is right where that muffler is, but of course we don't have one of those, so we're just gonna go off by, you know, whatever. Um, so I'm not the best with placing lights, I'll be honest, but I do enjoy Z mod. All right, so we're going to push that back in there. If I had to guess, I'd say there maybe? Yeah, something like that. But his are on the bottom, so I'm going to move it down. And when you mess with ions, you also want to make sure that, um, that your ions are exactly you know visible at the same time you know you don't want them too far but you want them you know far enough back that they're actually in the grill so they look realistic um like antonio's i'm pretty sure they're in the grill or they're based out of the grill i'm not sure but for this we're just going to do that so there you go you got one eye on done so you just can deselect that one and just basically repeat the process i've literally had a lot of people come to me and and ripples discord and i've tried to like be as polite as i can when it comes to modding cars but at the same time if you have no idea what you're doing i do not recommend that you try zmod there are some people who are like oh i want to make cars i want to make cars and i ask them for an example what els do you want and they're like what's els and i was like at that point i'm not helping you because if you want to make cars, you need to know what that is. And if you don't, I, I tried explaining it to this one guy, and he told me he wanted non-ELS. Well, then I told him I couldn't help him, and he went back to ELS. Then he comes back to me and says, ELS is shit for single player. This was for single player, by the way. This is not for 5M. But I like, you know, ELS and non-ELS for 5M. I don't have a problem with either, so. But this guy was all like, no, I'm fucking, I'm not going to trust you, blah, blah. And then he comes back to me the next day. Oh, can you help me with this? And... At that point, I was like, no, dude, I'm not helping you. So I blocked him. And then he went into Ripple's Discord and started asking Ripple for help. And I was just like, have fun, Ripple. I was like, I'm not, I'm, I've dealt with that guy for like three fucking weeks. All right. So I got the front done, but there's so many pictures to this Dodge Ram. Now, if I had to guess what those were. You know, when it comes to cars, I'm going to say this right off the bat. You're not going to get everything perfect, okay? You're not going to get everything exact unless you're, like, one of those hardcore devs out there that wants everything perfect. As long as your car is up to your liking, that's all that matters, okay? That's all that matters, you know? I tried to do as best as I could with Voight's Durango. It got a lot of love. It really did. You know, even with a bad base model, it got a lot of love. I was happy. But, you know, you're not going to get every car perfect. I'm just going to tell you guys that right now. So if I had to guess what those were, considering they're small, but they look like, you know, if you look in this picture here, they look like little Avengers. Okay. I mean, I might be wrong, but at this point I could care less. I'm not going to do that yet because I'm going to confirm with one of my guys because he's actually the one requesting this uh, vehicle. So... You may have noticed in a few of my cars that uh, they flash two different colors in the same LED. A lot of people were wondering how to do it. 
So basically, I've shown it like three or four times on my videos. I'm going to go through and show it again. Um, there's a lot of people who want to know how to do it, and they're always like, oh, mess with the XML and do this and do that. And I'm just like, no, you don't need to mess with the XML at all. Don't touch the XML. The XML is only if you want to mess with the patterns. So I'm going to show you guys my little secret on how I do it. So you see here in this picture, he's got blue here and he's got white here. Now that's not a different LED, by the way. That's one uh, ion attached as a single or two ways into it attached into a single that flashes two different colors. So you see here we have a red and blue. Can't have that. Can't have that. So we got to get rid of we got to get rid of the other extra. So for an example, find out where they are. So I'm assuming they're these little bastards here. Maybe? Question mark? Yeah, right here. So you see they disappear. So take these. Take these. Take those. There you go. And silence those. Then silence that. Now you're going to see here that we have two, two separate ions. It's very simple what you do here. Take the blue, put it with the blue. Take the red, put it with the red. That way you don't attach a blue to a red. Now, there's two ways you can do this, okay? You can go left to right here, or you can go this red to this red, okay? I suppose it's however you want your pattern to go. Of course, with Chicago PD, as we've seen, it looks like it's a singular flash. So I'm going to go like this. Boom, 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 boom. Now, you're going to notice that one of these does absolutely nothing now, okay? You see that one does something? This one this one does something? Those are yours. See these? Now watch. See? These do absolutely nothing. So boom, these can get deleted. They're no longer needed. Now I've had some people contact me, and specifically in my DMs, and go, they're red and blue. What do I do? I'm going to show you. I'm going to 100% show you what to do. So you're going to take these, and you want them both to be blue and white. So... For starters, just give me a second here. I haven't done this in a while. So, I've been gone way too long. I need to stop doing that. So, we want them to be blue. So, mapping, edit UV. And you, of course, don't have any merge and emissive. So, just do this. We're going to use ion PNG. Again, right click, mapping, edit UV. Find the. I think it's. I'm not sure what it's named. Hold on. I'm just going to rename it. Okay. That was interesting. So this is actually something that happens sometimes. I'm not sure why I can't rename it, but I don't need to, I guess, because it's like that. So mapping, edit UV, emissive, you don't need to change anything. Just hit that. You're going to see that it changed colors, okay? I'm going to go down here to UV mapper, see if it'll actually pop up. Oh, it pops up. Okay, so now you're going to go here. You're going to do this. Modify, move, move, fucking computer. Now you want those both blue. Now, like I said, this might actually take me a few minutes because I haven't done a texture like this in a while. So this might take a bit. So just give me a second here. I think if I remember correctly. Oh, so you want to be a little bitch. Okay, fine. I'll shrink you even more. You can shrink these, it's not going to affect the lights at all, so don't worry. So, <clears throat> I don't know about y'all, but I don't like that blue. I don't like that blue. That blue is way too fucking dull for what I need. So, there's two things you can do here when it comes to this. You can, one, I'm not sure why that one moves, but then, what the hell? Now 
Now that blue, I still don't like. So there's two things we can do here. One, you don't like that texture, you can just import another, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. That blue is way too fucking dull. Um, ah, yes. Uh, download. And... I want that blue. Okay. We're going to reset the UV mapper, because we don't want that texture. Go away. No one likes you. <laughs> Sometimes you'll deal with this where it doesn't want to fucking reset the texture. I don't know what's going on right now. Boom, ba boom, boom, boom. Excuse me. Pardon me. Thank you. Nope, I want the whole thing. Why is it doing this? Fucking little bastard. I am so sorry for this. This is not supposed to be happening the way it is. Let's try this now. There we go. See, now we got a brighter color. I don't know what the hell was wrong with it. It was being stupid. It should have just changed the texture, but... I wanted to be a little bitch. Well, fine, I'll play that game. So... Excuse me. No. No. Fuck off. Go away. So again, just shrink that. Then just put it in the blue. Wherever you want it. So I like that dark blue because it's kind of Chicago PD theme to have a dark blue. So there you go. Select none. Now, <laughs> to make it flash two different colors is actually very simple. So you see this texture here, and you see this one. It's actually really, really simple of what to do here. So you're going to make a copy of those. Okay, copy, boom. So you're gonna get another set, okay? You're gonna go select none. Those are gonna go away. And then you can just turn those off. We'll, I'll teach you what to do with those in a second. Now you're going to see that these control those. So boom, boom. Uh, quarter. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Emissive. And they turned red because there's a new set here. So only problem is, is I don't see the new set. Come on, you little fucking bastard. Sometimes you'll actually deal with it where it only wants to UV map part of the light. There you go. You need the whole thing. So just keep re-fucking forcing it to give you the whole light. If you don't get the whole light, I'm going to be 100% honest, it's going to be a cold day in hell for you because you need the whole light. If you don't get the whole light, you're kind of fucked. So, white. So we need white. So there's two things. There's actually a couple things you can do here. You can actually find a texture that has a white light. Or you can just shrink this down and just throw it above the blue. Um, that's usually what I do. It, it's white still, so it doesn't really matter. So just make sure that it fits in there. It's not conflicting with anything. And slide it in there. Make sure it's not on a line. But my computer just doesn't cooperate some days. All right. So now if you see here... Pardon me. You're going to see that these now change blue and white. So now, a lot of people have been asking me, what do we do with uh, the, the if they're named EMS blue, if they're named emissive? Uh, this is where my, 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 my part that I do actually becomes a pain in the ass. Because I'm going to be honest. If you have a extra that is already taken and let's say it goes to the back of a Tahoe trunk, you cannot use that extra for what I'm doing here. Okay, so you have to use specific extras for this to work, and it actually will take you a couple a couple times 
to get it to work. So for an example, uh, these are the extras I usually get it to work with. If it doesn't work with this, we'll go back and we'll do it again. So, um, so what I mean by that is if, let's say this RAM here had a trunk, okay? It had a trunk. All right, like let's say I wanted to put a light here, but when I open the tailgate, I want it to be there. Or if I open up the tailgate like a Tahoe, I want the light to be, you know, attached to the trunk. If you use extra seven, you cannot use extra seven anymore around the vehicle. Because if you do, when you attach another light with ELS, maybe different with non-ELS, but with ELS, when you attach another light, if you open the trunk, all the lights around the car are going to go with it. So you don't want that. So I'm going to actually be doing a video later on to show you uh, what to do with that type of thing. So I don't really see a problem here, but my Zmod just froze out of nowhere. Um, question mark? Okay, there we go. So um, these might actually be dull. I just want to see if they'll turn colors. Uh, if not, we'll do a different test. So I haven't played single player in a while, so I haven't set it up. So I'm going to do this real quick. So I'll do that in a minute. So sorry, fucking tooth. So when you have a texture that is not actually showing up physically through glass, do this and throw it underneath default material. Now, I saw Ripple say something actually quite freaking hilarious in his Discord the other day. I'm not ripping on Ripple. Ripple, I mean, you know, we go way back. All right. We got we got no beef. All right. If it can't, well, that's bad. That's really bad. So you want that. So, And I'm actually going to make sure of something because when I move that texture, I notice that it changed fucking colors. Okay, just want to make sure. All right. So now you're going to open up your little open IV here. You can just cancel that. Um, you're going to find out, you know, a vehicle that you have open for a slot. So I've got FBI 2 taken, police, police 2 I uh, ignore that. I was working on something. Uh, I'm going to do police three. So, police three. Let's see here. So, I don't lock my models uh, when I export them the first time because I tend to lock myself out and I'm tired of using Code Walker to unlock my models keeps crashing my computer for some reason so let's see here. well I only use code walker on my models I've had some people DM me and say I'm a ripper and shit I just find that actually hilarious because I've never once ripped another person's model or released said rip model I've I've always kept them to myself, so... Or I've just unlocked my models, because I always lock myself out. Fuck, it pisses me off, too. I really wish I would stop doing that. So, you got your car, which is Police 3. And then you're going to go down here. Get rid of that. And you're going to go into Zmod now. And you're going to click here and select all these textures. You're going to hit Save desktop make a new folder um, I don't know how to spell Antonio so I'm just kind of dumb today now comes the fun part about doing Zmod you have to hit save on all these files and it seems a lot slower than it ever was just so you know I don't know why if it says replace you have to hit replace by the way <laughs> Ugh, ten hours to go. I gotta stay up till noon. At all of them? Okay. Alright, so now what I like to do is go into here, which is a DDS converter, and um, grab all the textures because they are probably too high poly click PNG and then convert them and do that and it'll take about two seconds 
It's a pretty fast program. It really is. Depending on how many textures you have. Alright, and you can close that. And go into Open IV here, right click, go to New, go to Texture Dictionary, and type in Police 3. Not done yet. Click on this, go into Import. And of course, you don't want the DDSs because they conflict, so type in PNG, and for some reason... Oh, that's the wrong folder, that would be why. <laughs> okay, and type in PNG, search, there you go. So now all the PNGs will come up, you can hit Open, hit OK. And there you go. I'll probably finish this RAM here in a bit. I'm actually going to go watch Chicago PD after this for a bit so uh, and get some more ideas on cars. The cars that I have coming are a uh, Voigt's Cadillac Escalade uh, 2015. I have a Halstead's Ram. I have... Whoa, what the hell going on here? Um... And I have Voigt's uh, Durango, the CTS of Aaron's vehicle, and I have a few others. Hmm. Now, oh, this could be an open IV issue. This could actually be on my end. I'm not sure, so I'm going to check this out real quick. Whoa. What happened... Ah, bingo, I'm an idiot. Don't, don't do what I just did. <laughs> that would help. <laughs> okay, my fault. I forgot to put the dummies back in. Um, it's an easy fix, just put the dummies in. It's not that hard. Um, I'm tired though, I haven't slept very well lately. I've been dealing with, uh, heart issues, so... Uh, I was at the emergency clinic the other day uh, with heart palpitations. I got COVID-19 tested, so technically I'm quarantined until after tomorrow. So even though my test came back negative, they advised me not to go back to work yet. So, so I got to wait another day. What fun. Tell you what, a COVID-19 test fucking hurts, not going to lie. Now they should be good. Okay, so you're going to see the glass is conflicting. So just remove the lens. Okay, more than the glass is conflicting here. What the fuck is going on here? There's that one. Oh, okay. I'm an idiot. Yeah, so basically just remove the glass. I'm sorry. I'm fucking blind today, okay? Don't judge me. I've had a long day. All right, let's go check this out. Mm. What's up, kitty? All right, so basically we've done the front. We need to figure out what lights are in the front, and then we'll be good to go, and we can... Um, and then we can, uh, we can figure out the back. I'm pretty sure the back is ions just stretched. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to do some more digging and see if I can find uh, the video, uh, more videos of it in Season 4 um, on Chicago PD. And see if we can actually uh, nail what lights those exactly are. Pretty good with lights, actually. I've been around doing this for 10 years. <laughs> fuck, I mean, in March I'll make 11. I feel fucking old as fuck, just saying that. But... I'm pretty good with lights when it comes to what I need to do, so, um, so we'll, we'll figure it out. Again, if it's dull, I know exactly why, and I will, I will fix it. Um, it probably will be dull, just so you know, because, not because of my enhancer, but because, uh, I didn't calculate the normals. Apparently with Rockstar's new fucking update, you gotta calculate everything, it's annoying. <laughs> What's up, babe? Hi. <laughs> I was afraid to talk to me, honestly. Oh, you're fine, you're fine. What's up, Rocky? Mm, squish. Well, I may have fucked my economy up a little bit, but let's go. Nice. I had a fucking kid kick in my door this morning um, at 4 a.m. when I was still awake. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know what his deal was, but he kicked my door in. And uh, landlord fucking yelled at me. 
over it. I was just like, really? I was like, I didn't do it. And she goes, I'll get it fixed, but um, she goes, I'm not gonna tolerate things being broken around here. I was like, I didn't break shit. Like what? That's stupid. Um, I went to a fight at work check. So I I warned uh, I warned the neighbor. I said if you plan on knocking on my door. I said, you uh, you might want to make sure that you would uh, tell me who you are. And she said, why? And I said, because I've had my gun on my hip all fucking day. I'm not dealing with those fucking kids anymore. They did this shit last Halloween and almost gave me a heart attack. I hate to say it, but if your little fucking punk ass kid wants to kick in my door, and I put two through the fucking door, and I'm pretty sure the, land the landlord's already given me permission. If I find out who's doing it, and they actually kick in my fucking door again... I have legal right to fucking shoot them. Uh, she said she doesn't. She doesn't care at this point. She wants them caught. I said fuck. I said probably I won't shoot them. I said I'll put a fucking cock the gun. I'll go to warning shot and then I'll fucking go do a citizen's arrest on them. Damn. Yeah, I, just, I was on YouTube. I saw you were alive on my ass. So confused on why you were alive. So for like, uh, for the last like. Six weeks. No, it's sorry. Six months. There's. I've been in Ripple's Discord, and I've been seeing people ask over and over. Well, how do you make an ELS car? How do you make an ELS car? How do you do this? How do you do that? So I finally decided to make the ninth millionth tutorial related to ELS. I mean, you you're telling me that you searched YouTube and couldn't find my videos? Like I'm about to start going start coming up with some crazy fucking names, some clever ones, so people are like, oh yeah, I know what a, I know who that is. It's not that hard to make a car. It's not. I don't mind helping no, down. I don't mind helping people. But if you tell me you searched YouTube and you typed in Z Modeler on how to make a police car and nothing came up, I'm going to call you a bullface liar because I just typed in Z Mod just now on my other computer. And long story short, my channel comes up because I've made the most tutorials. <laughs> I've made the most tutorials on how to make an ELS cop car. And actually, I'm going to be editing this title here in a second. As soon as I get this Dodge Ram, uh, Antonio's Dodge Ram to light up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to rename it now. Nope. Oh, fuck. It loaded. Never mind. Let's see here. How to make a ELS. I'm going to make that in caps. Oh, wait. Wrong keyboard. Oh, great. Now that fucking not working. Great. All right, now back to this. I'm not sure what just happened. That was weird. Um, so it was actually wow. Look out! That that fucking I happened. So don't have to take shit from someone at the bottom of the totem pole. Okay, did you just call me the bottom of the totem pole, bro? I'm gonna teach you a fucking lesson you won't quick forget. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, get one off on me, you little fucker. Sit the fuck down. Uh -oh. Call me a bottom of the totem pole, whatever the fuck that is. So there you guys go. Um, as you see here, uh, turn on that one. It's blue. Turn on. It's it's all about the extras, you know. You gotta gotta get the extras to do their job. And if you can't do that, then fuck. I don't know. But I'll keep fucking with the extras just until I get it right because I want this to look perfect. So, as you see, there you go. All you gotta do is just change the pattern. So, for an example, if we go Alt-I-U. It'll scan the patterns, and there you go. So, um... Knowing Medic, he probably won't view this and learn, you know, anything. But I just made this tutorial because a lot of people are asking me how to do this. So, there you go. I'm making uh, Antonio's Dodge Ram from Chicago PD. Ooh. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> I just put my like out of my head. I don't know why. So as you see, Antonio's Dodge Ram is step one done. Get out like the fucking... The fucking way. Exactly what Michael said. Get out the fucking way. That's great English, by the way. 
So, <clears throat> I hope this tutorial teaches you guys exactly how to do two patterns, and you can do the same exact thing with three patterns. Um, unfortunately, I'm I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to provide support on how to do this, so if you can't watch this video and figure out how to do two patterns, then unfortunately you're out of luck, because explaining it is way easier or fucking harder than actually showing you what to do. Um, so basically that's how you put ions in a car. Again, there was a guy who asked this question of how to put ions in a car. For ELS. Really? Yeah, so, um, I'm actually going to have this probably, I don't have an estimate time for release, but I will say that it will be public, and it will be on LCPDFR within the next week. Probably even before that, actually. I mean, I've only got to figure out the backlights, and then I'm all good to go, so, um, hope this tutorial helped you guys, um, if you guys need any other help, just contact me on Discord, um, my name real quick so so it's crazy and then zero nine three zero so um crazy and then hashtag zero nine three zero and you guys can find me or you can go on lcpdfr and then uh and then you can you know join my discord or join the vc i'll be up till fucking probably noon um working on this and probably noon because i just sold the other computer and um well, long story short, I kind of want it gone, and I want, I need money, so. So why not? So, you guys have a good one. I'm going to go listen to my music and continue working on the RAM. Again, if I get it done today, it will be released at about 5 or 6 tonight. So, yeah. And remember, it won't be exactly like Antonio's, because the fact is we don't have the fog lights at the bottom. But I will actually include something... Uh, down there for for this specific ram so have a good one i'm going to go do what i do best see ya